totally forgot. Um, let's take it apart. Let's see what happened. Let's see what is damaged. If there's anything that, you know, if it's the rack that is starting to really wear, if it's the gears, I'm going to see if the, what is it called? The, um, the bearings are running smoothly. It seems like it is fine. Everything still sounds perfectly fine when I do shoot it, which is good. Um, but yeah, the future is now guys. 3d printing is where it's at. We already know that 3d printing stainless steel from Shapeways can produce very durable gears by looking at the TSG. So who knows what the future holds, but let's just say 3d printed nylon is definitely capable of sustaining heavy, heavy loads. That is like, there also is the, the fact that the design of my piston itself is ground up. It has pretty much every stress riser you could possibly find in a piston has been minimized to the most, to like the fullest potential. The, um, so where the rack slides in, the corners, for example, on the pickup tooth are radiused. There's no other piston that actually does this. The Retro Arms has a different style of radiusing, but here, if I, so this is another piston. So if you look inside, it's like the Kratos here, where it gets thicker, and the rack itself gets thinner. But what I did extra is each little corner inside is actually radiused a bit. So instead of spreading all the force upon one layer, it is spreading the force upon like three, four layers. And on a 0.1 millimeter layer height, it's actually more like five, six layers. So that dramatically increases the strength. Not to mention, it's also radiused on the inside, like right about here too. And well, my design clearly is proven to be fucking indestructible. So, let's see. Yo, I'm, I'm sweating guys, like, I, I was not expecting this. So yeah, uh, also I didn't mention, I removed the um, nozzle and tappet plate, mainly so I could get even, I mean, the seal was already perfect, but the movement could possibly make it so that since it's bouncing around, I'm not fully sealing with my finger. So I just shoved my finger there, did not move, made it a complete total compression jam. This has gone through, what, like 300 compression jams in a short period of time. That should, essentially, that should never happen. Ever. If your gun does this, take that shit apart, fix your problems, and put it back together. But, in case that happens, unlike the pistons out there that exist now, your piston will be salvageable. It is, it won't be, well, we don't know yet if it's like fully cracked or not, but if you had any other experience, or the people that know this, who have gone through this, know that generally you hit PME and your piston is toast. This guy, this guy right here, this handmade in Canada plastic piston, 
The nylon is not glass or carbon fiber reinforced. It is purely a nylon. And still works, guys. I, I, I don't understand. Another thing to note is the piston is standing up, is printed standing up. So currently um, the forces are going in the unfavorable direction of layer lines. So this is a showcase of the sheer layer adhesion I am getting with this piston. Because I don't know about you, but for the people that have that 3D print or have, you know, experienced 3D printed components, you'll know that they're much, much, much weaker across the layer lines. Well, with my thousands of hours of testing, researching, and optimizing my layers, it seems like, I mean, I must be doing something right, because fuck me, it's alive. Here is the moment of truth. What? Guys, I think we're... There's... Oh, there is some wear on the teeth. So as you can see here, we have some wear. Uh, you can't really see... Uh, so the body itself is not damaged, but you can see there, the little section right there, the epoxy did undo itself. And that's probably from the, the compression of the material. However, the piston, look at that. It is still flat. There is zero deformation. There is zero delamination of the layers. The teeth are clearly damaged barely at that fucking kudos aliexpress that is stronger than any well harder than any rack i've personally tested besides the fps um, soft air one which has extremely hard teeth and that one has survived a lot of pme too but for china rack do that to an shs piston and tell me what it looks like after i'll promise you it does will not look like that You could also see, yeah, there is, there was some deformation. If you look right down there, some slight flexing of the material, but structurally still seems solid. Yeah, it's messy epoxy, but this was the first one I made. And guys, this is the first gen. This is not even at the maximum strength of the piston. So, yeah. That's, that's saying something, guys. Take a look at the rest of the internals. Everything seems pretty fine, actually. Surprisingly. So. The, they have witnessed some wear on the SHS sector gear. But it's not substantial. It's not, like, too, too bad. Especially for having PME'd on a SP-150 about 300 times. Well, actually, at this point, we're at like 400 times. But not too shabby. Everything's still... Sp Ooh. Bearings are not that smooth. Still spinning a lot better than bushing, so that's something. Ooh, yeah, the, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... Oops. Yeah, it's not the smoothest, but it's still working. So that that's that's insane. The cylinder head is free of debris. Actually, let's see the sector gear, how those bearings are. Oh, well. That's something. The bearing undid itself. So it is now no longer stuck into the 
figure box, which is to be expected. Still smooth as hell. Slight, slight griminess, but I think that's just the bearing itself that's dirty. Oh, that one has also unglued, but still working, still spinning. Yeah, actually all the bearings have unglued themselves from the gearbox. Which, I mean, understandable. I found a piece of metal. Not entirely sure where that came from. The, um, there's a few specks, a few shards of metal that have come from some part of the gun. Not entirely sure where. Ooh, bevel gear has withstood a bit of damage from that. It's still perfect in, in, in a sense. It's not like too, too, too damage. It's still very usable. Um, spur gear is clearly fine, so that's good. Well, all in all, guys, this uh, I'm I'm out of I'm lost for words. I I've built the strongest AEG piston on the market with a fucking 3D printer. Who would have thought? Anyways, take care, guys, and have a nice day.